welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey everyone, um, welcome to the YouTube channel, as my son said. Um, he helped me on this, so I thought it would be cute for him to do the um, YouTube channel because he actually said it whenever I started the recording, but the the girls were talking and the dogs were messing around and the TV was playing, so I just figured that I'd have him re-record it, which was cute. Um, I decided to do a ring pour and then wreck it. Um, a lot of people that I watch on YouTube have been doing it lately, and I just think it's so cool. Um, and I have been trying to do the ring pour. I haven't quite mastered it yet. Um, I think my colors, um, they're too thin for a ring pour. Because whenever you do a ring pour, you want them kind of on the thick side so that they don't, you know, mud and mix together and or one color take over. So I have been trying to perfect them and I am far from perfecting it. But I'm hoping to get there soon. Um, so the colors I have decided to use, as you can tell, is um, purple, pink, black, and um, gold. And all of them are deco art. Um, the metallic ones, the extreme sheen, are the purple and the gold. Um, and then I'm not really sure what color the pink is. I think it's just a bright pink. Um, I mixed it whenever I first started pouring, so I really don't know. Um, but Easton actually wanted to do the cup pour, but I was a little worried that he'd mess it up. But maybe I'll let him do it next time. And we'll just see. I think he'd just pour it all out at once, which, I mean, there are cup pours like that that you can do. But I really just don't like them as much. But I guess it would be fun for Easton to do. So maybe we'll try that next time. And I actually wasn't sure if I was going to wreck this one whenever I started it. I had it in the back of my mind. And then um, the last second I turned around and and grabbed a fork out of my drawer and just did it. So I was pretty excited. I had never seen, everybody's been using different things to wreck the, the rings with. So that was just the first thing that came to my mind whenever I thought about doing one was just doing it with a fork because there is only four, you know, for the fork. And then they are kind of wide, but not too wide. So I thought that was my best bet. Here you can tell that I'm torching it to get some of the cells up. I actually love the way that this celled up. It's probably one of my favorite ring pours that I've done so far. Um, the other ones just never really worked out. One color always took over. Um, and most of the time I was using a pink and it was the pink and the blue that were always taking over on the ring pours that I did. So I um I did use pink, but I didn't use very much. I tried to be very careful with how much I was using because I knew that it was one of my thinner colors. So I was careful about how much I was putting in. So just learning stuff like that on your own of how thick your paints need to be, how thin they need to be, how consistent, you know, the consistency of all the paints to be able to make it is really, I don't think people understand how much goes into making these because um, you want them to be all the same consistency because if they aren't, um, they will all just run run each other over and it just doesn't turn out the way it needs to be um so these are very difficult um but I absolutely love the way this one turned out um even the cells which I said before the cells which on a ring pour you don't get as many cells as you do on just the dutch pours where you use your blow dryer and but this one actually did sell it more than any of my other 
ring pours have, but you can see that shine in there. And actually, um, I get a really good video at the very end of just the shimmer of it, of the colors, and the, it just turned out really good. Um, a lot of people have asked about my YouTube channel. Um, liking and subscribing and commenting and all that kind of stuff help and sharing. Um, it helps with the algorithm of YouTube. Um, it helps me get searched and found and I really do want to start this YouTube channel and get it going. Um, I'm at 18 subscribers right now. I would really, really like to be by at least at 25 by the end of next week. Um, and I'm hoping it just keeps growing and growing because you can actually, a lot of my family members don't know that, um, that you can make money off of these YouTube videos if enough people watch them and enough people are su subscribed to them, you can make money off of them. So that's kind of what I'm going for. I know a lot of you didn't know that. So if you don't mind to just leave a comment, even if you put great work or it looks good or maybe try different colors next time or I mean you know I would like them to be nice comments but and leave a like and make sure and subscribe because that helps me out a lot and I would really appreciate it um I would really like to thank you all for watching and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button um I would really really appreciate it Make sure and hit the notification bell so that next time or every time that I upload a video, you can get notified so that you can come watch it. Um, thanks for watching.